is the last hurdle to overcome before entering Europe. But coming into Ceuta from Morocco is not easy for migrants, whether they try by sea or land. They know we are always watching, so they cross when there are lots of boats around. They move slowly to get us confused. And then, all of a sudden, they speed up and in two minutes, they reach the beach. Ceuta and the other Spanish enclave of Melilla are the only two land borders between the European Union and Africa. A seven-meter-high double fence separates Ceuta from Morocco. Spain and Morocco cooperate to keep it secure. The fence gives us time to reach the point where they are jumping from. Its main function is to buy us time. A small group won't make it across. It's almost impossible, but big groups do get through. The law says that we can push back anyone who is trying to trespass. Migrants wait for weeks, sometimes months, in the woods behind those hills. They monitor the border and come up with a plan to make a surprise assault. The double fence is about eight kilometers long. It completely surrounds the enclave. It was first built back in the 1990s to stop illegal trade. Since it has been a work in progress, continuously being reinforced, it's now also monitored by heat-sensitive cameras. But despite all this, it only acts as a deterrent. Boris was one of a group of 470 migrants who breached the fence recently. We had to put our fingers through the grid and climb like monkeys. Once on top, I was scared. In front of us, there were civil guards with their lights, cars and batons. But as we climbed, more came behind us. We were too many for the guards to handle. You had to be quick. The tools recovered by the civil guard show how migrants prepare. Sandals fitted with screws to scale the fence. Hooks to climb quickly and pull down the razor wire at the top or ropes with wooden sticks. Perhaps the determination and desperation to reach Europe is most evident in these pictures. Migrants trying to sneak through the border crossing, hidden under a vehicle's back seat, or behind the dashboard, or worse, stuck next to the engine. It's become a tradition for migrants who succeed in climbing over the fence to shout Boza. It means goal because, Boris says, the fence looks like the net of a goal on a football pitch. Now he will have to stay in Ceuta until the paperwork is processed. But watching others celebrating their imminent transfer to the mainland gives him hope his turn will come soon. <laughs> Even if once there, some run the risk of being expelled back to where their long journey started.